The myth of the Andalusian paradise, Muslims, Christians, and Jews under Islamic rule in medieval Spain, by Dario Fernandez Morera, is a thought-provoking and controversial examination of the often romanticized narrative surrounding Islamic rule in medieval Spain, also known as Al-Andalus. Fernandez Morera challenges the prevailing notion of a harmonious and tolerant society, arguing that this perception is more myth than reality. The book sets out to debunk the myth of the Andalusian paradise, a notion that has been perpetuated for centuries and has shaped the way we perceive the coexistence of Muslims, Christians, and Jews in Al-Andalus. Fernandez Moreira's central argument is that the commonly held belief in the benevolent and multicultural utopia of medieval Spain is based on a selective and distorted reading of historical sources, often ignoring the brutal realities of Islamic rule. One of the key strengths of Fernandez Moreira's analysis is his thorough examination of primary sources. He scrutinizes a wide range of historical texts, including chronicles, letters, and legal documents, to provide a comprehensive view of life in Al-Andalus. By doing so, he reveals the darker side of Islamic rule, illustrating how non-Muslim communities face discrimination, violence, and persecution. He challenges the prevailing notion of a harmonious coexistence, pointing to instances of forced conversions, heavy taxation, and social inequalities that were systematically imposed on non-Muslims. Fernandez Morera also highlights the importance of scrutinizing the historical context. He argues that the utopian image of Al-Andalus is often anachronistically imposed on the past, neglecting the fact that the concept of tolerance and coexistence has evolved over time. The author insists on understanding history on its own terms, rather than through the lens of contemporary values and ideals. This approach adds depth to his analysis and calls into question the romanticized view of Al-Andalus. Furthermore, Fernandez Morera delves into the role of the Islamic legal system, particularly the Dima, a contract that regulated the status of non-Muslims under Islamic rule. While some argue that the Dima provided a degree of protection for non-Muslims, the author contends that it was a system of subjugation that restricted their freedoms and subjected them to humiliation and vulnerability. This critical examination of the Dima challenges the popular perception of it as a symbol of tolerance. In addressing the Jewish community's experience in Al-Andalus, Fernandez Morera refutes the notion that Jews thrived under Islamic rule. He points out that while there may have been periods of relative stability, their condition was far from ideal. The author emphasizes that the romanticized image of Jewish prosperity in Al-Andalus is misleading, as they often faced violence, social restrictions, and economic hardships. Fernandez Morera also confronts the common belief that the Islamic rulers of Al-Andalus were more tolerant than their Christian counterparts in medieval Europe. He argues that such comparisons are misleading because they overlook the considerable variation in treatment of non-Muslims within the Islamic world itself. Additionally, he suggests that European Christian rulers had a more diverse and nuanced approach to governing non-Christians. The author's work is not without its critics, as some scholars argue that his perspective is overly one-sided and downplays moments of coexistence and cultural exchange in Al-Andalus. They contend that he focuses on the negative aspects of Islamic rule while ignoring instances of cooperation and mutual influence. Nonetheless, Fernandez Morera's examination of primary sources and his insistence on understanding history within its historical context make his argument compelling and thought-provoking. The Myth of the Andalusian Paradise is a book that challenges deeply ingrained beliefs and perceptions about medieval Spain. Fernandez Morera's critique of the idealized image of Al-Andalus is a reminder of the complexity of history and the need to critically reevaluate commonly accepted narratives. 
His analysis serves as a valuable contribution to the ongoing scholarly debate about the nature of religious and cultural interactions in the medieval world and the way history is often romanticized to serve contemporary agendas.